Hey YouTube, Corpersan here. The Explorer Hero is one of the most played classes in MapleStory. It's the sixth most created class just after the Bishop looking at classes that reach level 255 and onwards. And it doesn't really come as a surprise with how strong this class is and how easy it is to play. So today we're figuring out why everyone plays Hero. The Hero class wasn't always very popular, however this changed dramatically after the red update and later after the 5th job advancement was released. Since then the Hero class has been quite popular thanks to their high final damage and amazing bossing mule potential. They always lacked a bit of mobbing but that was mostly fixed with the Destiny update last year and made even better with the Ignition update changing air to shower which improved their mobbing even more. By the way, a fun fact, when the hero class was being revamped for the Destiny update, in the test client their dash skill had no cooldown. For that time, in the test server at least, the hero was one of the most crazy mobile classes in the game. Sadly, they never made it out to life though, or maybe for the better. This hero reached 5k stats, has, plus one attack, has a plus 1 attack speed inner, and these are my no stone levels. Wait a minute, I just realized forcing this, my int is way too high. I probably left my Legion grid on the end when I was making that alien video. <laughs> also this character lost its temporary fafty gear so I'm wearing a weird helmet and no overall because I didn't play on this character for a while and I couldn't find anything. Gotta love expiring gear. Heroes want to use a two-handed axe by the way even though I'm using a sword right now. So like always let's check out their mobbing and bossing starting with their mobbing. I actually kind of wanted to main this class when I moved to Reboot two years ago, but I ended up choosing Shade because of the better mobbing. But thankfully the hero class has caught up to a lot of classes when it comes to mobbing. It was pretty terrible in the past, but now after the Destiny update with the improved hitboxes of Raging Blow, things are great if you are using that skill for mobbing at least. I think most people nowadays are using Puncture. This remastered skill now has a huge hitbox and deals additional damage to normal monsters. When I'm grinding I'm usually using puncture and then use raging blow when I buff it up with my 50 up skills and then iterate between the two depending on if my 50 up skills are being used yes or no. Your 50 up skill burning soul blade buffs up your raging blow and if you press that skill key again you can place down a sword to help with mobbing like a small install summon which is great once you get strong enough to one shot monsters. I can't just yet so I'm keeping the sword attached. Your instinctual combo 50 up skill is also great for mobbing. It boosts your damage output by a huge amount. What is also great is that instinctual combo was changed a while back and now has a 120 second cooldown instead of a 180 second cooldown which makes this class a lot more fun to play. You can pump out even more damage. Besides that, there are some other attacks like Beam Blade that you can fire off in any direction and your hyper skill attack Rising Rage is great as well for hitting those really high platforms. So grinding is an absolute breeze. Heroes have an up jump if they press the attack plus up key. You gotta like that one. And they can use their flash blade skill to fly to monsters in a flash. So great mobility, high damage and easy mobbing. And then I'm not even using air dash shower yet. Plus their nodes are easy as well. Only requiring two different boost nodes for maximum damage. Two different boost nodes, six different skills. So four in total if you want to max everything. By the way, just so I don't oversell it. Heroes mobbing is pretty good. But it's not like insane or anything like that. There are a lot of other classes with even even better mobbing. But the heroes do have another trick up their sleeves and that's that they're really good at bossing as well. So heroes base damage is pretty high already and they can melt through any boss at ease pretty early in the game especially thanks to their 5th up skills. But they can also use the enrage skill to reduce the amount of enemies they hit in exchange for a 25% final damage and 20% critical damage boost. This is amazing against bosses. Um, except for Zakum I guess because I wasn't hitting the body. <laughs> Just the arms. I guess it doesn't target any monster with the highest HP, which is interesting. Your Cry Valhalla Hyper Skill buff makes you immune to knockback and boosts your damage and resistances even more. And heroes can remove damage reflection with a magic crash, which is pretty useful in the early game. Of course, as a hero with crazy high damage, you want your damage to go even higher, because why not? And it actually is possible by using your 5th job skill, Sword Illusion. This skill does not only does a ton of damage, for a short duration after using it, your final damage gets a huge boost. Man, this class is strong. And then there is your other and one of the coolest 5th job skills out there, World Reaver. This skill is your invincibility frame and not sure if it was changed or not, but it does feel a lot better and easier to time than from what I remember. Also it cuts monsters in half, which is just freaking awesome. It only has a 20 second cooldown, so you can use it quite often during boss fights. 
And then there also are your debuffs. The Scarring Sword debuff that you always apply when the skill is active. It reduces accuracy and attack power of the enemy monsters. Plus monsters with this debuff will take 25% more final damage thanks to your passive skill Chance Attack. The Puncture skill also leaves a debuff that deals damage over time and critical hits deal 25% more damage against the monsters. And even 10% more damage for party members. So you can buff up your party members a bit as well. And you can give that small 30 attack boost to party members with the Spirit Blade buff which used to be called Rage in the past. And to make things even nicer in the defensive department, heroes also recover 4% HP and MP every 4 seconds, and their own link skill helps them recover HP as well when you get below a certain point. Their base stats, like critical rate, boss damage and ignore defense, aren't super high though, and they benefit a lot from a boost in that area with links, legion, hyper stats, potential, etc. But it ain't super bad or anything like that, but it Nothing like that stands out there. Overall, the hero though is an amazing bosser and one of the reasons why it is so popular these days is probably because of that. It doesn't require a lot of funding or setup before it feels good and with their mobbing being buffed a lot compared to before the Destiny update, it is a solid pick to train to level 250 or even hyper burn. And that's all for today. What do you think of the hero class yourself? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, special thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to... Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Os, Terry Kim, Varese, Cody Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knife Sue, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Menchaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Afterlord and Score MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Fun, Radical Jaws, Riser Ryu, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conrad Cristales, Ace Light, Mr. Narc, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brandon Cam, Vake Botnet, Feko, Victor Sundstrom, Simak Only, Rashid Alhar Moody, Glando Balavia, Gianfranco Condoron Canavero, Lucky Beats, Mathinu Def, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, Spots D. Kaiser, Zunnen, That Archie Guy, Grogo, Gabriel Eck, Luis Bento Brandao, Dante Victory, Snafu Pop, Astia Villa, Tails Kurtzpet and the Wolf Drake. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.